You look like a Final Fantasy VII character. <laughs> I have no mouth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of V for Variety Unbreakable. Uh, I did that extra long because you're here. Kidding me. <laughs> that was a little, little long there. <laughs> How's it going? It go pretty good, buddy. What are we doing today, huh? Uh, I can show you some of the most grindy crap that I've been working on. Okay, let's see. What you doing? We're in Kenneth's base, by the way. Most of you have seen this because I steal food from him. Yeah, <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> um, so I know you, uh, you've been curious or wanting some uh, cooling rods. Yeah, yeah. I want to stay cool and warm and have my crops grow all year round. And I happen to know where to get some. Oh, really? Because it's cold in your base. Well, <laughs> it's not on, but I don't think the heater's on. Uh, so if we click this little ender eye, uh, for yeah. starters, this thing, actually, uh, if you want to look it up for your your uh, guys, too, if you look up a uh, super, you can see all the different super crafting frame stuff. Oh, yeah. And so there's a super teleportation frame. What's the quad super teleportation frame do? Or the double um, or the triple? It will probably what? hold. See how if you highlight over it, it has your destination. It has none. So you could probably store multiple destinations. So you do have to make, uh, let's, what is the, yeah, if you I do. Have, uh, I don't have whale on, so that probably doesn't show for me. Uh, I, well, I guess that makes sense. That's right. You're using a, another uh, little which, display which thing. seems to be off right now, which is a little weird, but, you know. Huh. <laughs> so if you look, there's a destination marker that you have to make. It takes four ender pearls and uh, a map, actually. Um, so a little pricey. I mean, a compass, that's not a big deal. Uh, but then you can just right-click anywhere. Like I have mine set in the middle of my base. Uh, coming back here. And this one is set going to a snow biome. So Oh, um, and that's where the, and it's set where those thingies spawn, right? Yep. Right, so if we click on it. Hey. Get a little bit of lag. Oh, I got a little bit of lag. There okay. we go. So there's another one here. That one takes us back to the base. Oh, cool. And, and you got uh, another region sheety thing here. <laughs> Actually, I already set this up. Oh, and that does make you thirsty, by the way. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm getting some uh, some major Ooh, frames. Oh, careful. Oh. There's one of those dudes out there. There is. Where are you at? He's, oh, what the crap? Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't have a bow anymore, man. My bow disappeared. Something's not liking my computer at the moment. <laughs> Are you getting super bad frames? Uh, Ooh, a bow. Hey, there's your bow. Not not too bad. So this area, unfortunately, um, yeah, a little bit. You, you okay down there? Yeah, I'm good. It's a stupid. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can still get the XP. Um, so if we're around here enough, uh, and I found the best time coming a blood moon. Um, I think your internet's oh, going poopy, man. I don't you know. I didn't. You just roboted for me. Ooh, it may be. Like I said, I'm getting uh, some some bad framage. Um, hope it's not my internet. I can't wait to get fiber. Um, so yeah, so this place I've actually kind of flattened out. And the main reason I did that is the one thing I noticed with the the whole little uh, realistic item drop thing or whatever the mod I have the uh, uh, the realistic loot drops. Item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's realistic yeah. item drop. Um, that actually puts a lot of items below the snow. So ah. I know if you're out here killing things, sometimes you'd think it didn't drop anything or actually it's hidden. So 
if you look or fly all the way up to the top, which that could be part okay. of my life issue. Oh, I see. <laughs> you put a whole bunch of uh, <clears throat> glass above whole, this. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So you made like some one of the arena spawn for these little. What are they called? Um, that's a good question. Coolers. I don't know. They they basically look like blue blazes. Yeah. So we can call them blue blazes. Blue blazes. So uh, unfortunately, it, it went back today as soon as we we got here. Um, Cause we're we planned so well. That's that's yeah. how that works. So we may have to hang around um, and come back out here at night. But this biome is extremely small. Like it, it basically is whatever this little ice plains biome we're in is. Is this is little planentia thing here, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. You yeah. live in on one and you don't even know how to say it. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> So the the little spawning radius is 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 extremely small for them and all the other mobs. So that's why I'm trying to one eliminate the snow, so you can and, see the items, and two maximize the spawns by having the area slabbed off. I see. Yeah. So I started taking the outside biome areas and slabbing off. It's a lot of work for actually modded. You you think you could do this a little bit easier, but if we could get you them could. to spawn, uh. If we could actually get them plenty of spawns, we could start using maybe some of those soul things uh, to capture yeah. them. Yeah, we could do that during like a blood night moon. I bet they spawn a lot faster, you said, right? Yep. Yeah, they and spawn like crazy. Come and kill a bunch of those during a blood moon. And, we and that mod it. I have actually never used before. The little soul. Oh. It's so fun. Um, it's pretty, I don't know, it's kind of cheaty if you really think about it. Um, but you have to work for it. You have to make a soul shard, which I'll have to show you how to do that. Um, I have to remember because it's changed since be before. It's actually a lot easier now. Um, but you make this little platform of uh, like three by three of items in the world. And then you right click on it and it uh, gives you a soul shard. And then whenever you have it in your hotbar and you kill something, it'll store that soul in it. And then once you get to like... Um, like that makes like a tier zero or a tier one. And then you get like yep. 30 kills or 32 kills goes up to tier two, 64 and you can get all the way up to tier five. And as you go, the tiers start spawning faster and with less restrictions, like tier five can be turned on and off with redstone and isn't affected by light levels and spawns them literally like every three seconds. It spawns a group of them. Nice. I'm going to come in here. I'm starting to cool up, cool down a little bit. Yeah, I was just looking it up. So it shows uh, unbound soul shard zero. Then one, it's 64 kills. I, I would have probably already had a tier one while I was doing all this work out here. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, let's yeah, tier one let's, is 64. Let's wait uh, maybe until it's dark and then maybe cut back so we can okay. actually show, show them what it looks, what they look like. Sure. Maybe we'll uh, work on getting a soul shard in between that time, too. Hey, that works. All right, guys. We'll be back at nighttime or when we make a soul shard, whichever happens. Sounds good. All right. We're back at Kinema's base, so we're going to make some soul shards. You ready, buddy? Yep. Show me how to, to do this. All right. First, you take your glowstone and you place it down. Boom, good job. Then <laughs> we're going to take our obsidian and we're going to put it in the corners. Bam. Is this going to interfere with... No, nah, I shouldn't. Hope not. Okay. Boom. All and right. then quartz. And then the, put the quartz right here. You catch on quick, buddy. And then you take your diamond and you smack this. And boom. Nice. Now I brought Quiet. enough to get two. Okay. So do it again. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're working it. Good job. Good job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Perfect. You're a genius. Boom. Hey. I, I learned from the best. I know you did. That's why I got you. <laughs> 
Why do I have my backpack here, man? I need to put that on. Don't I? There we go. So yeah. this only calculates kills. Like if I have two in my inventory, well, I'll just put one in my bag. You, whatever the one's in your hot bar. Okay. And yeah. it's Look at my time. backpack. Look at my backpack. I don't see a backpack. Oh, I, I do. don't see it. I'm so fancy. Okay, we gotta go. Gotta go. And let's okay. see if we can. Oh, there's a anybody here? Enderman. Anybody here? All I see. I don't see an Enderman. Where's an Enderman? Oh, I see him. I'm gonna go kill the Enderman. That's the one I want for my soul shard anyway. And hey, I'm looking Enderman. for the uh, blue blazes. There's another Enderman by the uh, little water area. I would say by my beacon, but you can't see the beacon. You teleported. You're not supposed to be able to teleport, you jerk. Get back here. Are you hitting him with something that doesn't allow him to teleport? Where'd he go? Yeah, frost. But I guess it didn't affect him fully. Where are you going? Quit teleporting, you fool. There's a couple of them out here. I got him. And... Bound to Enderman. Awesome. Woo! And none of these <laughs> things gonna spawn now that you like, you know, we're recording and stuff. <laughs> oh, I guess not, man. I guess I should start actually killing other mobs. Like this creeper. I don't know why I accidentally get caught on fire sometimes when I shoot things with my bow. Do you have that uh what's that ability? Um Oh, chained. Yeah. <sighs> Worst ability ever. That means don't go near Kenem when he's shooting stuff. There's a couple more in there, man. Ow. Hey. What do you think you're doing, fool? Thanks for the regen. Dumb dumb hitting me. Tell you what, I wish I had absorbed on like every piece. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I got some strength coming at you, spider! Someone shooting at me. And there I go, I get caught on fire again. Um, well, this is <laughs> this is disappointing. Um, yeah, man, your thing doesn't work. Well, I mean, it's just a simple <laughs> platform. Ooh, my weapon now has fire on. Oh, hey, taste that. Be thinking about killing some critical stuff. fire. Oh, there's one. So I have to like. Oh, hold on! Don't kill it. Where is it? It's over here. Okay. I see you. Uh, I see you. Yep. I see you. I see you. There it is. That's what they look like, and they're called blitzes. I think. Yeah. Is what it's called. So okay. I just go okay. up and right click on it. No, you got to kill it. Oh crap! You collect its I... soul by murdering it. Um, I accidentally got a skeleton one. Oh well. And it and dropped, dropped one. The shard. Yeah, so you I see, see you. I see how it was missing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, into ice. You got into that. Yeah, because I picked it up. Ow, I'm on fire. So that's what they are. That's what uh, they're usually only a couple of spawn at night. Mm -hmm. So it's almost um, day. <laughs> it's almost day. Uh, if, I'm definitely going to spend my time killing them out here at a blood moon, though, because uh, Blood Moon, I was, I mean, the whole sky was kind of lit up with them. So, oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Just killed another one, but he didn't drop one. Cool. And they, they don't, um, they're kind of like creepers. They'll kind of hang around a little bit after everything else burns up in the sun. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, they don't just fade away right at the crack of dawn. Um, and at nighttime, at least with the blood moon, they kind of look a little fluorescent, so they're a lot easier to see. So definitely, uh, if you if you have flight, if you don't have flight, I I wouldn't recommend riding out to try to kill them in a blood moon. But not in this uh, pack, especially since the blood moon have seemed like they've gotten worse. Yeah, they got updated, and now they're like monstrous. Yeah, there's not anything else gonna spawn. Nope. So that was the blitzes, but now we have these cool soul shards. Um, I do want to test. Go ahead. Go back and 
uh, show me what I actually do with this thing now. Uh, you have to get like 64 kills before it's useful. <sighs> okay. Because it's a tier zero. So let me, let's take a break and let's actually go and test about, uh, try to get my Enderman one up. Okay. So we'll okay. be back if we can, if we, we'll show you what to do with these things. All right. Woo. All right. All right. We're back and we went and grinded up some soul shards. It seems like in this version of soul shards, the old ways, spawners count as kills again. They didn't used to for a while, and but they do now. So we went to an Enderman spawner that we have in, a, uh, in my fortress, and we grounded up 64 kills. Then we made and made a bunch of corrupt dust and vile dust to make these corrupted ingots so we can make this soul cage. You see it in there, Kinema? Yep. All right, I'm going to pull it out, and we have a soul cage. Luckily, I think it's nighttime too, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, let's go all the way up to your slabbed slime island. Why can't you fly faster vertically? This is so <laughs> slow. All right. That would be nice. So this is all slabbed off. Do you have any blocks on you? Oh, I do. I do. Uh, I, I came prepared. Couple. I came prepared. I'm going to put it right there. And then get rid of these blocks here. And then all you do is you take your soul shard and you click it. And see how the thing like lit up? It like became all like glowy eyed. Nice. So it should spawn Enderman, but it's going to be really slow. And whatnot because it follows all the same rules of a normal spawner. So you got to be within like 16 blocks. It's got to be dark. There we go. There you go. And then you just kill them. First. <laughs> Boom. And they teleport away. Awesome. And then, of course, you don't want to break so, that so you can do more kills and level yeah, up so more. Yep, the best part is you can sit here and you can break it. And when you break it, you get both things back. So you can go kill some more Endermen and level it up. Very cool. So and it's I'm like a movable, go. swappable, um, a movable, swappable farm. So there's even a possibility that you could make a room that uh, when you want, you push a button and it will break, a uh, system will break it and will when it, it'll place it back and then it will right click on it with like a player. Um, uh, thing so right. it pretends it's a player and it'll put in a different soul shard oh nice yes yeah, so you can automate only one spawner into a bunch of different spawners now, that's all speculation like tons of stuff and then dude we should totally work on an arena together like here at spawn that'd be awesome <laughs> Like we Where'd need to make go? like a mini oh. game area. I'm coming. Oh, he's down see. here stealing my grass blocks. <laughs> they both are. Die, thieves! Up, oh, I killed mine. What about you? He's like, where do you go? He's juked you. He juked you. He's behind you. There he is. <laughs> he didn't juke that guy. <laughs> oh, he left that in the place. You got it, man. Look how much spawns over there. It's spawn. There's even an enderman over there. But that's a natural wow. spawn. Just look at all this stuff. We got a horseman. Never mind. The horse left the horseman. At least on my screen. <laughs> got things shooting at you. Wow, there's so much stuff over there. That's amazing. And it actually would how lit a lot of it is. I'm, I'm just Yeah. I mean, there's that's, a good area that's not, but. That's awesome. Well, that was fun, man. Now we know where to get the the little coolie rods from. Uh, we can try to get those so we can get... Oh, here, here. Kinema has one in his base here. Um, we need those so we can make, one, resistance to cold potions, but that doesn't seem to be a huge issue. But also one of these guys right here. And did you know if you keep these both on at the same time, it will regulate your temperature to the perfect regu to the perfect temperature? At least it's supposed really? to. They're supposed huh. to balance each other out to where it keeps you perfectly fine. Well, that's that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of farms I see when you use tough as nails, they'll put both of these next to their farms, and their farm will stay good all year round. 
Yeah, I don't think my uh, little temperature thermometer up there is right. It says it's uh, very cold. Yeah, it says we should be freezing right now. Uh, is it almost summer? Is that what that means? Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know what the season <laughs> means. Uh, Spring? And whatever the pink uh, season is? Sure, yeah, the pink season. Spring We're going flowers. into the pink season. So that's mm. cool. <laughs> You're right. I'm actually uh, at the perfect temperature, it looks like. Yep. So I Look hope you guys enjoyed our little adventure with the soul shards and learning how to, where these guys spawn. And we even learned about super crafty frames, too, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, those, yeah. those teleportation yeah. frames are, are pretty awesome. Now, I haven't tried some of the other stuff, but maybe in another episode. Yeah, these things are really cool. Now that I know you can do this, we're going to have to like make ones. Since we have so many ender pearls from killing those guys, we'll have to make a few to go back and forth to each other's bases and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would be uh, very cool. You could probably, I wonder if you could label like oh, I bet you... the item frame. Oh, or, or, or the, uh, the thing you the put little... in it. Yeah. Can you take it out? Yeah. There you go. Go see if you can rename it. Where's your anvil at? It's right behind you. It's right here. It's almost damaged. It's so broken. Oh, I don't have any levels. Hold on. Oh, toss it to me. I got levels. What I had some... Uh, uh, like, ice biome? I don't know. I spy on the door. Boop. Uh, I don't see it. <laughs> it does. Destination I spy on. Why don't I see it? It's it says it, it says punch frame to teleport. Oh, in your Wayla? Oh your yeah. Wayla. Oh, let me turn Wayla on. Visible. Uh, destination ice biome. Yep, that's that's how you do it. I thought it was gonna like show above it easily. Ah, uh, nah, but it's still pretty cool. I'm glad you can do that. So, yeah, that is really cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps us out, keeps these episodes flowing, and it puts a smile on this kinema's face of a person that has no mouth. <laughs> you look like mouth, a final fantasy you look like a final fantasy 7 character i have no mouth how are no. you talking uh that's a good question i talked to like my, my neck oh i guess you do kind of yeah you're like a south park character now <laughs> and i yeah what is it terrace and philip uh, Canadian and, and those Canadian? likes also put a uh, put a smite uh, a smite a, a, a smile on the dragon's face too. Uh, I have a face though, at least. It doesn't look like you're smiling. Oh, you yeah, don't I don't do that. I, I don't do that. I don't have enough likes, and that's like a permagrel <laughs> until I get like fifty on one uh. video. <laughs> All right, guys. What? Thanks for watching. Yeah.